It's a question many parents ask themselves and one that has been difficult to answer. Do violent TV shows and movies encourage real world violence? Could keeping children away from fictional violence improve their behavior or prevent it from getting worse? Here to break this down for us is psychotherapist and psychologist, Dr. Frida Birnbaum. Welcome, doctor. Thank you so much. Yeah, so I wanted to ask, is the excessive amount of violence in media a problem? It's absolutely a problem and we have to do something about it. You know, even family viewing has something to do with violence. We can't get away from it. It's on television, it's in the movies, it's with the video games. So it's really excessive today. So what are some of the effects of watching violent TV shows or movies? Well, children are really suffering emotionally with this. Uh, they have a lot of distorted views of the world and uh, academically they're suffering. And what's interesting is even preschool children uh, are more aggressive after they view violent entertainment. And how does violent media affect all of society, not just children? You know, the frontal cortex is something that teenagers are developing as they're getting older. When you're older, that turns into something that becomes more permanent. So when you're dealing with violence, there's anxiety, there's depression, there's isolation, there's feelings of rejection. I mean, you name it across the board. There's so many things that happen. And then when you have these aggressive behaviors and these aggressive feelings, your brain is not able to stop that process. And that's where the problems really begin. So I have to ask, what about people who love horror movies or enjoy watching those crime shows? Do we need to be more cautious around them or not? Absolutely, we have to be more cautious because teenagers love to watch that stuff. It's very exciting, but then they don't have the ability to differentiate between saying, you know, this can really be problematic. Uh, this can really be in real life dangerous. So they don't have that danger uh, connection of what can really be problematic. And they go out there and they're used to these video games that are violent, these movies that are violent, and they have distorted views of what the world is today around us. And that's why we have so many shootings and killings as well, because they see these movies, they leave, they play these games, they leave, and then they feel that, oh, this is part of our life today. And it absolutely is not. What are the final results if this is left unaddressed? Well, the final result, results are that we're living in a very violent society. Uh, we're constantly hearing about teenagers, especially, who are abusing and, and misusing how to be, be able, excuse me, to display their feelings. So we need to have classes, uh, we need to have groups, we need to have parents basically because that's where it really starts uh, to do what they have to do to make sure that the children have the confidence the stability uh, the support system so they're not bullies or they're not being bullied because it does happen at home but guess what there is a wonderful way to be involved in videos and gaming uh, that's really good for you and this is the upside of this uh, there is something good about it and that is you connect with your other sibling, uh, other peers, your siblings, your parents, anybody who's home. Uh, you're able to learn how to be competitive in group settings. You're able to socialize as well. But here's the one ingredient. It cannot be violent. So we have tennis, we have skiing, we have exercise, basketball, you name it, all kinds of sports that are really good for you that you can go ahead and sublimate the violence into that. So parents need to know that in order to socialize, kids don't have to do anything that could be permanently dangerous to them in the future. Yeah, and we mentioned violence in TV shows and movies. You mentioned yes. video games. Are there benefits to gaming in moderation? Uh, moderation, that's a difficult uh, question. Uh, because when you see something, you remember what you saw. I don't think moderation uh, is anything that pertains to violence. Violence is violence. Uh, teenagers are very easily affected by the messages out there. And then they go ahead and they maintain that kind of stance. So we have to be careful. We can't give them anything except the positivity. When you see a movie 
And these movies are really rampant and they are famous. Mm -hmm. All these horror movies, these monster movies, don't go. Don't tell your kids, let's go because everybody else is going. They don't have to give in to peer pressure because that's really the reason these movies are so popular today. Yeah, definitely a tough topic. Thank you yes. so much, doctor, for filling us in on this. And Thank for you more so tips, much. Of course. Absolutely. For more tips, you can tune into her podcast titled The Dr. Frida Show, Pushing the Limits.